Hello loves, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. If you are new, hello. My name is V. I post nail tutorials every Thursday and Sunday at 8.15 a.m. Central Time. Do not forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications as I do enter giveaways in them randomly. That being said, I'm doing 4th of July nails. I'm super excited yet a little bit sad because I'm kind of late to the game. I probably should have posted this like a week ago so you guys could have had time to recreate this. I'm also announcing the winner to my last video's giveaway. I am going to be sharing a little bit about the product with you guys. So if you guys are not familiar with Profiles Backstage, I use their products all the time. They're super affordable. Make sure to check out their website as they have tons of nail art stuff, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. All you have to do is create an account and start shopping. You do not have to be licensed to shop on their website. I know this is kind of confusing to some people as it does give you the option to insert your license number, but it is not required to actually input that information. That being said, they offer a monthly subscription. I'm not quite sure the actual price of it, but you get new nail art stuff every month. The cool thing about it is that they actually give you a tutorial and a design for those specific products. So if you kind of don't know how to use it, they give you a design to recreate. It's kind of really fun and it's a great way, especially if you are a new nail tech, to rack up some nice nail art stuff. So I'm going to be sending one lucky winner one of their bags and I'm also going to be throwing in there a few other stuff that I have that I really need to get rid of. I've just been hoarding a bunch of stuff. Our winner for our giveaway is Michaela Martin. Congratulations girl. Make sure to message me and I'll send that right out to you. Thank you guys all so much for the love and support. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Getting right into today's video, I am using my Profiles Backstage hand file. This is in the 100 grit. Highly recommend these for beginners as they do have that rounded edge, which is perfect for prepping if you do not have an e-file. I'm going in and just tapering in the squared shaped nails just lightly. I'm not going for a coffin look and I don't want the full square look. So that's basically what I'm doing here. The way I shape the tips is angling the hand file in just lightly and using medium pressure when filing and I alternate sides constantly. So this is how you're going to get an even shape. You want both sides to be perfectly even and you don't want one side to be more tapered than the other. So to solve that issue, all you have to do is constantly move from side to side from the left side to the right side, from the left side to the right side, so you get an even shape. And if anyone is curious, this dust brush is from Kiara Sky. Don't forget to use my discount code to save a little bit of money. All links will be in the description box. Now getting into the actual nail art, I am going in with red, white, and blue. All the products will be in the description box. These are all from Not Polish. Highly recommend you guys check out their products. Don't forget to use my discount code. 
But if you didn't see my fire ombre nails, I will link that as well so you guys can check that out. I'm basically trying to mimic that exact same design that I did for those nails, except with the red, white, and blue. Since these will be 4th of July nails, I wanted to create some fun nail art for that. Now I am using my Sculpted Like It's Hot in the number 6 from Profiles Backstage. That is my acrylic brush along with their acrylic monomer. Their stuff is really good. If you guys haven't checked them out, make sure to do so. So here I'm just taking Soft Peach from Not Polish and ombre that down into my marbleized tip. Again, I'm taking Soft Peach and applying that to my ring finger and my middle finger. I do this by getting a large bead of acrylic, placing that in the middle section and dragging it down towards the tip very, very gently. Make sure you guys work on your liquid to powder ratio. This will help drastically change your acrylic application game. I have a video on that. If you guys are interested, make sure to check that out. And I'm just making sure I'm keeping the shape intact to avoid tons of filing at the end. I'm taking my second bead and applying that right above where I placed the first bead. This will help you build up your apex area. So I do recommend you guys do that as well. And then I did my third bead and then my cuticle bead. I am constantly going from side to side, keeping the shape as intact as possible. Cuticle bead goes right under the cuticle. I lightly push it up towards the cuticle. Make sure to hold your finger downwards so the acrylic flows down to the tip. It kind of helps you place that bead as well. So I'm taking red, white, and blue acrylic, placing that on the tip and just marbleizing it. This is the easiest design ever because there's no specific way of doing it. You kind of just blot them on there, swirl them around, and you get such a pretty effect. The white doesn't necessarily show in the design, but it does help separate the red and the blue because I didn't want them to turn it purple. taking my soft peach and applying that in that middle area lightly pressing it down and then dragging it down towards the tip with very very light pressure make sure you're cleaning up your sides so you have the best application process the next bead is going to be right above that when working with the cuticle area especially doing ombre i work with smaller beads just to avoid over covering that color on the tip area I like to have my ombre kind of meet in that middle section and then of course I'm going to be encapsulating it if you are new to my channel I encapsulate all of my color acrylic so I am using clear from not polish applying a bead over the marbleized area I want to make sure that I'm keeping the marble nice and intact when I go into file. I don't really ever encapsulate my nudes because the pigment is very light and I do apply it a lot thicker and it's not going to ruin the design if I file it. Here I'm showing you guys my new Kiara Sky drill bits. These are the five in one. Don't forget to use my discount code. They recently launched these. I'm super excited to be using them. So I got the black one in medium and the purple one in medium and then the other one was a fine bit so as you can see they're really pretty and it does come with that dust band that you need to protect your hand piece just 
just showing you how I'm applying that onto my e-file. It is such a pretty color and I will tell you guys, I absolutely love it. It is a safety bit, so you will not cut yourself or your client, which is always a plus. You want to make sure you are staying safe. So I am going in and just filing the surface of the nail. I'm doing this very gently. And because I am using the fine one, this is going to be perfect for final filing as it's not going to remove much product, but it is going to smooth it out. So I'm just kind of going over top of it, making sure it's dry because I felt a little bit squishy. <laughs> so I went ahead and tapped it just to make sure it was dry. I've mentioned this before, but I'm kind of all over the place with e-filing. Sometimes I start at the tip, sometimes I start at the cuticle, sometimes I just do the whole surface and then I go in with the cuticle, just how I did on this one. So it really just doesn't matter. It's really what I'm feeling. I like to tell you guys to mess around with your options and find what works best for you. I do have a video on how to e-file using the Kiara Sky e-file. If you guys are interested in checking out that video, super in-depth and I do break it all the way down for you guys to fully understand if you are a beginner. Now I am taking my hand file once again and just making sure I'm perfecting that shape. Even though I did pre-shape them at the beginning, you still want to do it at the end because when you place the acrylic on there, it does add bulk to it. So you want to make sure you're filing it at the end as well so it is still nice and sharp. Once I'm done with the sides, I like to turn my hand around to look at the nails from the client's perspective. This is going to help you get that tip nice and straight. So I'm just finished filing that. I dust it off a little bit, then turn it around. And as you can see, I'm just filing back and forth, making sure it is nice and squared off. Now I'm taking my sponge buffer from Profiles Backstage. These are amazing. So make sure you guys check those out. Highly recommend them. And again, don't forget to use my discount code. You want to make sure you buff the surface of the nail for your nail art application. A lot of the time I won't buff if I'm just top coating, but to ensure a very smooth application for the next step, I do recommend you guys buff the nails, make sure they're nice and smooth. Now I'm taking my lint-free wipes and some swipe and just cleansing the surface of the nail along with the practice hand making sure that it is nice and dust free for our nail art application. So for the nail art that I am going to be applying on these two nails, I am going to start off by applying my matted from Not Polish. I want to start with the top coat already on because I am going to be doing the sugaring effect which you kind of need the nail to already be finished when you apply that. So I am placing this into the light as well. Make sure you place it in there for at least one minute so it fully cures. Now taking my all time favorite nail art brush, I've been using this for 3 years and it is in perfect condition. Highly recommend you guys to check these out. In my blue gel paint, I am going to be drawing some stars. So as you can see, I'm drawing the outline first and I'm basically acting like I'm sketching this on a piece of paper. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest to get that perfect opaque star. And I'm just going to be randomly placing those on the nail as I am going to be doing white ones and red ones as well. I want to spread them out kind of evenly.
please note you do not cure just yet. Leave it wet and then I'm taking my very fine glitter from Profiles Backstage and I am pouring that over top of that wet gel paint. And as you guys can see, long nails work perfect for little scoops. Place that in the light, make sure it's nice and cured and then dust off any excess glitter. And then I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that for the rest of the colors on both of the nails. Once the stars are perfect, I am going in and applying some crystals to the pinky and the index finger. I am applying some jewelry gel just with a crystal tool picker thingy. <laughs> and then I'm using the back end of it and placing my crystals on there. I do highly recommend you guys check out the jewelry gel. It is perfect. It gives you more time to work with your placement. I know a lot of the times my glue would dry extremely quickly and I couldn't place it on there in the right spot and I would get so mad because you're basically wasting crystals. So this gives you however long you need to fix the placement and then of course you have to place that into the UV LED light and then it'll seal it in place. So I'm going in and just making sure that they are placed where I want them to be. And of course I'm touching up the pinky as well to make sure that it is placed correctly. Before I place it into the light, I'm taking a 3D brush and just swiping down any excess. I don't want that area to be too bulky for when I apply my top coat. 
Place that in the light for a full minute. The crystals will stay in place for the entire time. Once it's out of the light, I'm taking my Matte It From Not Polish and applying that on my pinky and index finger. As you guys remember, I already placed top coat on my ring finger and my middle finger, so all I have to do is place it on these two. Place it in the light for a full two minutes. This will ensure everything is nice and sealed. That basically concludes this video. Do not forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think down below. Happy 4th, and I will catch you guys next time.